Hey there, Tano. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today we're going to be talking about the Dex Nocheli Sandana. If I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Alright, now as many of you know, it is the fourth year anniversary, I believe, of Warframe. Or, it might be the fifth. I, I've lost track, honestly. <laughs> but, this is the Sandana, of course, after my... Uh, copy my main colors, swapping my attachments. And I'm not going to show you guys the default colors because we've seen the default colors with all the teaser images. Plus, the default colors are going to be the exact same colors that were used on the Dex Dacra, the Dex Sabaris, and the Dex Furus in the past. But, and honestly, I'm a little glad to see that the biggest fears that a lot of people were having are actually they can be you can put your fears aside because the biggest fear is that this sandana people were afraid it some people were like myself included were afraid it was going to be really big really clunky and just all around atrocious to use for fashion frame but it's actually not all that big not all not all that clunky it's still a little clunky and with certain colors it kind of has this rubbery texture which it i don't like but it's not that bad it you can make do with that if you stick to more neutral colors for those of you who are very very flamboyant with the colors that you pick however it may not look right but anyway now normally i jump into a mission of roughly level 20 30 40 something like that just to show it off but i'm just gonna run through a super quick exterminate on earth to show you guys just how well this thing's gonna flow and to see for myself and then that'll determine if i keep this on nyx and try it with some other warframes or if it just turns out to be one of those things that i could take it or leave it i mean right now it looks really really well but i've been sticking to a lot of neutral colors like whites and grays there is a large platoon of Grenier Marine stationed here. Leave but no one standing. so far, just running doesn't look too bad. A little less it kind its flow is kind of fucked up on a bullet jump, as you guys just saw right there. It kind of flips around with melee strikes too, so it's. It's pretty much just whatever. Wow, I can't believe I'm missing as bad as what I am. And it kind of bunches up on an aim glide as well. It, like I said, it's a little clunky. But at least, as f the clunkiness can be offset by the fact that this Sandana actually does look really good. Depending on how you color it. My warframe is strong. It, it, for, it just seems like it sticks to your body more than it just outright flows like a lot of the other Sandanas do. And as to how you would get the Sandana, well, that as long as you log in from today, from at this point today at 2 p.m. Eastern to up to, I believe it was, I believe the time limit to claim it is 10 days after it went live. So from 2 p.m. Uh, March 28th 
to... to 2 p.m. April 7th, you should be able to claim this Sandana as your own. Enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. And honestly, I mean, I can't say too much because it's a free cosmetic item that they are literally giving out to everyone just for logging in. So, I, with it being free, I wasn't expecting it to go, for them to go all out with the physics and everything. So, for it being... So, it is actually a very great Sandana for the fact that it, it it's a free cosmetic item. So, that I've got no right to bash DE for that, and neither does the rest of the community. Could it have been better? Yes. Will it possibly receive an update in the future? Maybe. Who knows? If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Really? It, I think it's fine just as it is, so I'm probably gonna stick to it, especially since I don't do a whole lot of parkour with Nyx to begin with. So, it can kind of just sit there and look all pretty. If you like this video, but other than that, that's really all I gotta talk about. So, if you guys like this video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe. If not, I've got... I've actually, in the process of working on gathering information to do a lore frame video later on in the week. So that video will get recorded and go out once I get all the necessary information that I need to talk about it. So if you didn't like this, maybe you guys will like that, especially since it's been a while since I've done a lore frame video. But other than that, it, if you would like to support the channel and its endeavors, hit my uh, check out my Patreon link in the description box below. And if you would like to stay up to date with me outside of the usual video updates, be sure to hit me up on Twitter and player.me. I have uh, description. I have links in the description box below. I'm just a little excited right now, as you guys can clearly see. I am butchering my own words. But anyway, until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.